special company deserves special dishes. Hi, I'm Angel Shannon, and it's time for a taste of home. Today, we're using tenderloin, and I'm going to stuff it with breadcrumbs and all kinds of sauteed vegetables. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that started. I've got one onion, half a cup of celery, and one four-ounce can of sliced mushrooms, and we're going to put them right in about two tablespoons of butter. Saute these until they're nice and soft. We might as well go ahead and prepare our tenderloin, which as you can see has been nicely trimmed by my butcher, and we're just going to go ahead and cut a pocket right into the center of it. Not all the way through and not all the way to the end. And that's what we're going to fill with our stuffing. So now we've got this nice deep pocket. See how deep that is? We're going to fill that with stuffing and it's going to be delicious because we're putting cranberries and we're putting pine nuts in it. So this can just sit right here. Also we'll be searing the outside of this tenderloin before we stick it in the oven. Let's go ahead and make our stuffing. I've got two cups of soft breadcrumbs. And you know what I did? I just used hot dog buns and put them in my little mini processor and that's what I got. These will be perfect. We're also going to put, like I promised, pine nuts and some dried cranberries. Just a little bit of salt in here, a little pepper, a little bit of melted butter. This is basil. Give it a little bit of an herby kick along with some dried parsley. I'm going to mix this up. And last to go in here is what? The vegetables that we've had sauteing. Those onions, the celery, the mushrooms. Are you ready? I know they are. There you go. And remember, this has butter in it, too, because that's what we sauteed it in. Oh, delish. Imagine how good this is going to taste inside that tenderloin. Now, I'm going to let this cool off for just a couple of minutes because I don't want to burn my hands trying to stuff it into the tenderloin. We've got this nice big pocket, and I'm just going to take this filling that we've made. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use my fingers. You don't care, do you? We're just going to stuff it right on in there. And we'll have plenty of this left over. If you wanted to, you could just take this and mix up some more breadcrumbs with it and turn it into like a, you know, a stuffing to put gravy over, that sort of thing. I love the cranberries in here and the pine nuts are just perfect. We're going to have to close this up with these toothpicks. So we want to make sure there's still enough room to do that, okay? Just kind of to the side, watch out. Once I'm done closing this up, we're going to take it over to the stove and sear it in a little bit of oil. Get that nice golden color we've got going right there. That's exactly what we want. This is perfectly done. It's got this nice little browning on the outside all the way around. Now, I don't like a lot of cleanup, so I went ahead and lined this pan with some aluminum foil for later. And we're going to pick this up, woohoo, full of all that goodness, and put it right there, okay? But wait, we're not done yet because this is the best part. <laughs> I've got some bacon, and we're going to wrap it right around the outside, covering up the toothpicks. This is going to also help it to kind of self-baste. It'll be perfect. Now this goes into the oven. We're looking for an internal temperature of about 125, 135, something like that, in about, oh, probably 40 minutes. OK, ready to go in the oven? Says yes. All right, you guys, I cannot wait to show you this. I've had it tented for about 15 minutes. It's our holiday beef tenderloin that we wrapped in bacon, and it had an internal temperature of 135 degrees. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. It's perfect for the holiday. Let's cut into it and see what it's like. Oh, look at it. You've got that little piece of stuffing right in the center. It's perfect. It adds just a little bit of extra. You can see on this side the cranberry. Oh, I just want to eat that all by itself. Let me finish cutting this up so that we can put it onto our plate. I'm going to go ahead and serve this with some rice pilaf and a little green salad just like this with the bacon right there on top. How's that look, huh? Is that perfect or what?
And the thing is, is you can see all the grease in the bottom with the juice in it. We can make some great gravy with that too. So here's your tenderloin. Happy holidays and thanks for having a taste of home with me today. Angel Shannon and I'll see you next time.